Well, Limbungan are our clients and they are the defendants in this High Court matter. Um, and, that, and they have a contract of freightment with the claimants who are called Classic and they are a large shipping company. Um, and under this COA, contract of freightment, uh, Classic uh, are to ship iron ore pellets from Brazil to Malaysia where our clients have steel mills. Well, in November 2015, uh, the tailings dam at the San Marco mines in Brazil collapsed and this caused devastating damage, um, one of the worst environmental disasters in Brazilian history. Um, and this caused the mine to close down and being the only source of iron ore pellets for our client, their cargo supply um, was stopped. Um, and in order to perform the COA, they needed to look for an alternative supply from Brazil. Um, and the only alternative was to try and find cargo from another mining company called Vale. Um, and despite attempts, our client were unable to get any cargo from Vale, which meant that they just simply couldn't perform the contract. Um, and therefore, our clients relied on the force majeure clause under the COA, um, arguing that it prevented them from being able to perform um, due to circumstances entirely beyond their control. Classic therefore made a claim against our clients um, and they were seeking damages um, in approximately the amount of 20 million US dollars. Well, there were two key issues um, to, the, to this case. Uh, the first argument made by Classic was that um, our clients had not made adequate or any arrangements for the supply of cargo in the first place. And if the arrangements were so non-existent, um, we shouldn't be able to rely on the first force majeure clause at all. Um, they also argued that in order for the force majeure clause to apply that a but for test should apply um, and what this means is uh, they say that we Limbungan need to show that we would have performed the contract even if the tailings dam had not collapsed um, and following the trial the court found that in relation to the uh, supply arrangements point, uh, our client didn't need to have contractual arrangements in place to show that they had adequate supply arrangements for uh, the shipment of iron ore pellets. Um, however, on the but for um, issue, the court found that such a test was applicable in order for our clients to be able to rely on the force majeure provision. Um, and as a matter of fact, uh, they found that our clients were not able to show that but for the dam collapse, that they would have performed. Therefore, uh, the court found that our clients were not entitled to rely on the force majeure clause in the COA. Well, the court found that even though our clients were not entitled to rely on the force majeure clause, Classic were not entitled to substantial damages in the amount of approximately $20 million. Or what the court um, decided was that, uh, as a matter of fact, Vale, being the alternative, potential alternative supply, uh, would never have supplied cargo to our clients. And in those circumstances, even if our client were willing to perform the contract, it was in any event going to be the case that our client would never have been able to source cargo 
to ship. And the court uh, reasoned that Classic should not be entitled to substantial damages in circumstances where in any event our client would never have been able to perform the contract. Well, this case raises interesting points um, and Classic, who obviously have not been successful at first instance, are now seeking to appeal this decision uh, and they are seeking permission from the Court of Appeal for permission to appeal, predominantly on um, whether they're entitled to substantial damages.